Today we picked up some beautiful roses. These are Meredith Hybrid Tea Roses in the Bush variety. And we got these at Walmart. And I cannot tell you enough how much I love the Walmart roses. They used to only be $5.99, but they went up in price a little bit. But every rose bush I have ever gotten from there has been gorgeous. And I, those purple roses that you guys love so much, they're like a pale purple. I also got those at Walmart a couple years ago. So this rose is a very pale pink, but as it ages, the outer petals turn white. So it looks like it has a pink center. And we're going to plant these up in my urns. So I've got some dianthus here or sweet William and some uh, violas to plant around the base just to make it pretty until the roses come in. And I'm also going to plant some sedum in there. Well, actually Garrett's going to be planting up the urns for me. I'm just going to give him a little bit of instructions and I think he'll do a good job because I'm not really supposed to be lifting anything or really doing anything at all. I'm supposed to be on modified bed rest. So these are the urns. I've had these for a few years and I got them at Lowe's and you can see I drilled four holes at the bottom because they didn't have holes in them and I had to drill through the top piece and the bottom piece because believe it or not each of these have two pieces so the base kind of clicks into the bottom so I drilled through the top pot part and the base of the urn and I got these for like $11.99 at Lowe's a really long time ago and I just love them they look like they've got hard water staining on them but that's just dust I need to wipe them down and oil them so they look nice and pretty again and these urns are made out of plastic, I guess, um, but they last a long time. They're really heavy duty plastic and I liked that about them because they're easy for me to lift. When you pot these up, you want to make sure you leave enough room to fit all your flowers around the outer edge of the rose bush and um, tuck in that dirt into all of the little crevices, even on the front side of these plants because you don't want any air pockets in there. And really, these Sweet William flowers will have to be moved out of here in a few months because they will overcrowd this pot. Um, especially because there's fertilizer in this soil, they're gonna really go to town. Oh boy, I should have given Garrett some better instructions on watering these in because normally you don't want to spray them or water over the flowers. You just use the loose hose on low and you water the soil so you don't disrupt anything, especially if it's already sunny in your area. Um, you might get some sun bleach spots on those petals, but it's totally fine because I didn't tell him that and he's not usually the one to plant up our pots, so <laughs> we'll let it slide this time. We picked the Sweet William and the Violas for this pot because they're winter hardy. Even if we have snow or lots of hard frosts, it's not going to hurt these plants at all. Alright, that about does it. We've got two of them planted up right here. And uh, I think they turned out really, really good. What, you, what are you doing? <laughs> they should fill out too. We'll do an update once they start to fill in all that space. Oh. Hey, what are you doing outside? <laughs> I'm checking out your work. You're supposed to be inside resting. Quality control. <laughs> so how they turn out? What do you think? They look good. Can't wait to see them fill in. Oh, you're filling in pretty good. <laughs> I am. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's our project for today. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.